I'm Danny. And I'm Althea. And we are DNA Live, baby. What's up, everybody? You are so excited tonight. I'm in a good mood, man, for last week's numbers. It just keeps rising. It keeps rising. So go ahead. Okay. So first of all, let's um do a couple of shout outs. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to shout out to Tunage Radio, and that would be Showcase Poppy. Big shout out to Showcase. Okay. Um, he's part of the crew here. Mm-hmm. So also, I wanted to shout out to Hit the Beat. Shout out to my man, Hit the Beat. Um, also to the two winners, we got Lula Sav, Let's obviously. Let's go, Lou. And we also have a new one. Her uh-huh. name is Samantha Vendetti. Dope. She is hot. Big, big shout out to the big, big shout out to her. Big, big shout out to Lou. Lou always has, you already know, that's my protege right I there. Know, one know. of the top rappers, I'm going to say, in the whole island. Well, I'm going to say she's going to be like the Greek queen. The Greek, I'm the Greek queen. No, nah, but I'm saying like in music because she's blowing up right now. Okay, inside so Greece. maybe she's the Greek so queen. So big shout music. out to her because she already knows, man. She's blowing up right now inside Greece and stuff like that, and it's gonna keep going, man. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot. Uh, what's that record called? Um, which Doma. one? Oh, Doma. Doma is Darma. blowing up right now inside the numbers. You can actually see the numbers right now going up with us. Yeah, but, but I just wanted to reiterate, Terma is in is Greek for like the end, mm-hmm. like. Done. And then, Derma. so big, big shout out to her. She already knows she's dope. And she's working on, she's getting away from that kind of like wave right now. Mm-hmm. So yeah. we're putting her right now in more of a little bit of back into like the pop world. You know? Yeah, because she's got such versatility. So, you know, we're trying, you're actually trying to like mm-hmm. poke at her with the other. I think she's amazing. Big, big shout out to her. She's a dope artist. Everybody that's watching right now. Oh, what is that? 81 people watching <laughs> right now. Thank y'all so much. Definitely tune in. To her, shout out to Tunage Radio, shout out to Top Dawn Radio, my man Lazarus. We're gonna be playing his joint too later on inside the artist review. And mm-hmm. go ahead. Okay, so also just remember, people, if you want to submit your music to be played on our radio station on iHeart, um, just all you have to do is submit your music. It has to be a clean version, please. Uh, DJ Energetic Music at gmail.com. Remember, E N J E T I C. And remember something real quick, because I just want to say something real quick. Go fast. right ahead. Our radio station, name the station's name. Me? DNA. Yeah, DNA. 90? 93.7. Exactly. That's <laughs> our station on the end. DJ Energetic Show has his own station on the iHeart app. Yes. So make sure all y'all click into that. Big shout out to everybody. And if y'all don't know, I'm on Miami now, mm-hmm. 10 to 11 Monday to Thursday. Right. On the Blaze. The Blaze. FM. Shout out to Yo Yo. Radio. <laughs> Shout out to Yo Yo. Shout out to Scorpio. Corey. Who else am I missing? Showtime. Showtime. Okay. Shout out to him. And too. make sure you guys listen every Sunday too on Rough Riders Radio. Big, big shout out to Miss Info, everybody out there that's listening right now. So. And on Saturday nights, don't forget XL UK Radio in the UK, baby. I know, right? And then again, another one Thursday nights. Boogie and Shy. Mm -hmm. Big, big shout out to them. Yeah, that's our big family over there. We love you guys. Indiana, Chicago. Indiana in Kokomo and, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, DJ Shot. And, of course, our beautiful, beautiful PR person, uh, Lady Q. She's so dope. And that is her Instagram. Yep. She underscore so dope. She takes care of all of our artists. Um. Also, uh, coming up March 10th, next Good. week, we got one of my favorites, Chris Milo. He's going to be playing at the Long Island Music Hall of Fame, and that's in Stony Brook, New York. So please go check him out. He's starting at 3 I'm p.m. all out of love. I'm ready to love. You can put up the flyer, hun. So um, Chris is obviously, you know, doing his thing and everything. He's going on. uh, He's doing a lot of venues and stuff Uh like that. So whenever I get a chance to pop it in and show people where he's going to be out, please go show your love and support for this guy. I mean, he's just I love that song. You know, I will always play it. So. Shout out to Chris Milo. Okay. Big, big shout out to Chris Milo. And that's uh, 97 Main Street, Stony Brook, New York. Okay. So coming up. Let's go. Okay, coming up. <laughs> we have an artist mm-hmm. who goes by the name of Black Shine. Black Shine, baby. Black Shine. And when we come back from commercial break, 
we're going to introduce you to him. So stay, stay tuned. tuned. <laughs> Put your hands yeah. up. Right now we're inside a war with ourselves. Yo, America, are we gonna wake up from this? Where the real Americans at, huh? Where we at? Man, you blinded and you lied, you just sent to inside your own. Everyone pretends they love you, but messing you up in homes. Laughing without the way you can't even afford food. And everybody looking at you acting so rude. They thinking that they love you, your skin, that's what they see. They don't understand the melatonin well it be. But the anger that they got, they just play for each other. A civil war, they trying to come for us, kill one another. But I woke up last night, I gotta talk to my peers. Tell them, listen, we gotta march and what do we do? You laughing, you crying, you angry, you feeling the skating Saying with all the time, they just damn and was traded Leave you inside the cars, they don't want to see you out They leave you locked doors, breaking your jaws over lock They lock you up, they want to trap you, put you inside with a lock It's meant to block, cause all you ever hear when it's the cops Screaming lifeless, now all of a sudden we thinking prices Putting that two there, be called crashing in prices Now they hating how the way, how they even look They try to lock us up, throw it down, try to play the That we close with a phone next to each other's ears But we're more social distance and corona, yeah They try to act like we ain't one inside our home We act like that we ain't one and we're inside our home What's going on, everybody? You already know, man. This is your boy, DJ Energetic. Yeah. So anyway, welcome to the show, a gentleman by the name of Black Shine. Yeah. I'm just glad he sounds so well. He sounds good. Clear. Love it. Thank you, so, thank you. You're welcome. So if anything, we're going to start. Obviously, you were born in Atlanta, right? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Now, I wanted to, I read about it in the bio that it said it said referred to as a Grady baby. What does that mean? Grady baby is a hospital in the middle of Atlanta where most of the, the kids from the hood are born. And so, you know, as we grew up, a lot of us hood kids from the inner city, we just be like, we Grady babies. And it's, <laughs> it's just a saying, just in Atlanta. If you're from Atlanta or anywhere in the Southeast, you kind of know about the Grady baby. Oh, okay. I, I, I read about that. I wasn't too sure about that. Yeah. Um, and also, again, here we wrote, I, I, I saw about, it said that Sunshine was your nickname. Yeah. I now, don't, who I told you Sunshine? My, my whole family. <laughs> my whole family. And to this day, like, uh, to this day now, it's like Cousin Sunshine, Uncle Sunshine, this, this. I don't know what my mom and dad did to me, but it's cool now. It's cool. As I grew up, the ladies like this. So, hey, it's cool. It's, okay. Because I, I was like, did you have like rays of shine of sunlight coming out through your ears or something? I wasn't even sure about that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. But it, maybe every time you smiled, it was like sunshine. Maybe. I hope okay. so. I'm just saying. Okay. okay it so, let's. <laughs> So let's go back. So in eighth grade of English class, you developed a love for writing. Yes. Is yes. That correct? Oh. Okay. So tell us a little bit about that when you were growing up as a, a kid in eighth grade and you kind of, you know, like you said about growing up in the hood and stuff like that, and you were finding outlets for yourself and then you developed this love for writing. So tell me a little bit more about that. Well, you know, growing up, in early ages, it was kind of like the hood, but my mom and dad, they moved us from west side of Atlanta to the east side to try to give us a better life. And it, it introduced me to better teachers 
And so in the eighth grade, I had a strict English teacher. Uh, we really didn't like her, but but she, <laughs> you know, but it ended up, her strictness ended up showing me something within myself I didn't even know I had, you know. I, I, I always was music. Music was always me, knew all the songs. My, my dad was a DJ a long, long time ago when I was a little kid, so I knew all the songs. It was so nice. I was always around it. So when I started writing it, it just flowed naturally. Like, I, I don't know. It just, I guess it's a gift. I mean, I, you know. <laughs> Did you read a lot of poetry or you just wrote a lot of poetry? Um, At the time I started writing it, I was just writing poetry. I wasn't even into it like that. You know what I'm saying? What uh, what happened was I wrote a poem. I had to read it in front of the class. I didn't even know how great it was. The, the, but the teacher was giving me so many accolades. I had to get in front of the school and read it in front of the school. And, and, and it just went from there. I guess I probably loved the attention from reading in front of the school. So... Oh, okay. So then there you are. You're you're up on stage, you're you're reading and stuff like that. And you were and it probably gave you a sense of accomplishment in a way, you know, yeah, that look what yeah. I can do, you know, how much further can I go? Kind of thing. But who inspired you growing up as a child? Oh, uh, I would say my dad. My dad, he was like my football coach, baseball coach. Um Really him, my granddad, I probably had some inspirations that wasn't too good also being from the hood. But uh, I, I would say the most positive probably is my dad. Like growing up, you don't realize it. You even fall out along the way. But as you get to a certain age, you realize the the love and the sacrifice your mom and dad made for you. You know what I mean? That, that's true. That's so, you know, yeah. when you think about that, yeah. you know, even as a child, me too, growing up, you're always thinking that, you know, your parents are just pushing you too much, but they're just pushing you because they want to see you excel. Exactly. You know, yeah, yeah. they want you to get yeah. away from that area where they are in. You know, they okay. want, they, parents will always want to see the best out of their children. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, all love, all love. No, because I know you have a diverse love for songs and um, you go from love songs to hardcore and everything. Which one is your favorite? My favorite, honestly, I, I mean, honestly, I'm pretty hood, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I, I, I don't really have a favorite. I'm diverse. I'm adaptable. Like, you know, I'm, 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 I write from the mood or the energy that's around me. So when I'm in an in good relationships or you know in that love drunk type mm. scenario all that beautiful love music come you know uh the 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 god music like dear lord what we're introducing today it come from pain you know what i'm saying it come from trying to find myself trying to find my spirituality come from sometimes being mad at god you know and, and it just expressing it and getting it all out yeah no i had those moments i'm just not lyrical <laughs> I'm more yeah. animated, you know, but um, also with that, did you ever like grow up in a choir or anything like that or no? Um, no, I was, <laughs> they wanted me to get in the choir. I just, I know, <laughs> I, 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 I ran from it. I, I may have been running from the spirit. I ran, I just, I, my pain, my grandmother wanted me to do it. I just, no. They all do. You know, yeah. I mean, even my parents wanted me to go to church more often than I did, you know? I really? Mean, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Th that's <laughs> one thing that a lot of parents like. My, you know what it was, too? Because my mom was in the uh, choir at church. And she was yeah. and she was like that since she was about 15 years old. So, you know, when she's older and everything, she's mm -hmm. got kids, she wants you to be in that choir, you know? And I was like, not having it, no. Yeah, they, they, live their dream, they live their dreams through you, you exactly. know, what I mean? like, through their kids, but it's all good. No so tell us a little bit about um, your inspiration musically. Like who inspired you as you were, you know, getting into the music industry? Who inspired you with the music? To me, I'm inspired by the whole, well, you know, we all have our staples, the Michael Jacksons, the Princes, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because I'm into real music, you know what I mean? Like, but like, I feel like the greatest singer I've ever heard was Whitney Houston. That's yeah. just what I feel as far as the purest voice. But as far as, as, far as in the, in the uh, hip hop industry, 
I love the whole Atlanta down south movement, like through the 90s and early 2000s, from the outcast to Goody Mobs to, you know, that type of stuff. The um, eight ball MJG, UGKs, the, you know, uh, going up north, Buster. Mm. Like, I feel like he's the most underrated rapper. Like, I feel like he gets, don't even get that. Level of respect, yeah. He's talking about Buster Rhymes. Our good friend is actually uh Dinko from the Leaders of the New School. That's actually, oh, man. oh, yeah, shout out Leaders of the New School. You, you know what I'm saying? So, when he's saying Buster, nah, I definitely do. Buster has you know really done the test of time, yeah. I mean, I just when I hear him on his interviews and he's sitting in that interview and they'd be like, okay, spit Buster, and it sound exactly what it sound like on the album. That's Hey, I got you. Got to salute. You yeah. have to salute to that. What you, you think about I mean? his new album? Hmm. What you think about his new album? I haven't heard his new album yet. I haven't heard it yet. I'm I not gonna even. I haven't heard it. Buster. But I, I, I have. I already know it's gonna be great. <laughs> okay. I'm a fan. Yeah, the but he actually had like ah. the. He actually had the um the blackbuster um. Uh, what was that thing? The old logo. Uh, uh but that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. very good marketing yeah. he got right there. Oh, that was ingenious. That's in yeah, blockbuster. Black, that that is that's pretty damn good. So anyway, so how do you feel like if you had three people that you would like to um, collaborate with? Is there anybody in your wheelhouse that you would want to collaborate with? Oh, uh, oh, that, now that's on the spot. I mean, but I, I would love, I would love to collaborate, like being in Atlanta. Mm. I would love to collaborate with people like T.I., maybe, you know what I'm saying? Or, or but I, I love I love the underground scene. Like, it's a, I mean, I know a lot of times I get on here and just name all the big artists. I would love to collaborate with somebody like Wayne, Lil Wayne, you know what I mean? Stuff, somebody like that. But I love the underground scene. It's, it's, it's artists like Queen Hadassah in Atlanta and, and, uh, Singers like Al Wee and singers, rappers, nobody don't know about. Like those are my. That, that's who I'm dealing with right now. Like that's who I'm. I'm looking for the greatest underground rappers all mm -hmm. over the United States, and I want to work with them all. I like that. Like, that's that's the mission I'm on right now. Now, if I get a chance, no way was like, hey, Black Shine, I got a song. <laughs> I'm not foolish, you know what I mean? <laughs> like you know, you know what I mean, but. Yeah, I love the underground right now. Yeah, would you want to ask him? All right, this is my question to you. Who would you want to collaborate in the North? You you said Buster, but who else? Like, you know, any underground, like any underground cats really buzzing in Atlanta from the North that not a lot of people know? Um, I'm not even sure. Like, it's, it's. I'm not even sure. I'm as far as the underground, I'm not even sure. No, I'm no, so, you, can say, you can say mainstream too. I'm so in just south, southern, not no this. I'm like, I'm so like as far as my movement, I'm constantly working, but um, but as far as mainstream, I love the old school mainstream, like like Nas. Like I, I miss I miss one. I mean, I can't collab with him now because he's not here, but like DMX, mm. like DMX, that's right in my wheelhouse with the print, with the because I'm not a kingdom rapper, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, but with the print, but you still can tell the stories of the hood without. It's a fine line, you know what I mean? That you don't want to be typecast at, you know what I'm saying? So, like DMX, I mean, I would love to. He's not here, but you know, um, I'm guessing like you like Lecrae in them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, people. Yeah, yeah, you know, he, he, yeah, yeah. I would love to collab with Lecrae. Lecrae. Like, I, I'm kind of like, I, maybe I'm a little nervous, so I'm kind of on the spot right now. It's like when you asked me the question, I went blank a little bit, but yeah, oh, I no. love Lecrae. I love Lecrae. I love, I love, he's not New York. He's not New York, but he has a northern type style. If y'all ever heard of T.I. Son, The Money. Yes, like, yeah, that's what I'm about to bring up. I'm about to bring him up. Um, he's dope. Homeboy. Yeah, you got like he always like his he's 
you don't know what to expect from him. I love because I'm an artist first. Like I love creation of art. Like that, it all started in poetry. So I love his artistic delivery. You know what I mean? So but that's yeah. the thing that matters, man. People don't understand. Like when you're different, people can also like I like an artist, and I don't know if you I like an artist that you don't know what he's gonna come up with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, you know I like an artist. You know what to Exactly, because everybody's doing the same mold. So they do the drill, then they do the, the boom bap, and then they do the R&B. And then but when somebody comes off for like just different, like you just, like that's my error. My error is they would always try to make they just go this way. Instead of going yeah. right, they would just go uh, left, they would just go right. I mean, because right. nobody ever seen them go. But there's like so many different genres of rap that I really don't understand the difference between them. It's not really genres of rap. What happens is rap now it is so like this. You know what I mean? It it's the same. It's yeah. the same. In uh, our era, in our era, everybody had their own niche. Okay. You know what I mean? Like DMAs had his niche, Puffy, uh, Mace, all of them had their own niche. The South had their own thing, Snoop them. Had their own thing on the West Coast. Everybody had their own thing. Now it's just like, and I don't want to hate because it is some good, That's great nice. artists now. You know what I'm saying? But everything, you, you get like two or three of the great artists, then everybody behind them try to be them. Yeah, I can see and, that. And that's what I'm seeing now. Yeah. I, like everybody want to be money back. Everybody want to be money back now, you know, or, you know. Or, it's so weird because, so like, it's two times. Go ahead. Let me cut you off. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, uh, in our era, you would study the rapper not to sound like the rapper. Yeah. You don't you yeah. never study the rapper to be the rapper. Yeah. Yeah. You know, nowadays, everybody, like he says, it sounds the same. It's it's sad because you know there's so much talent out there. If you I can't be in your shoes, you can't be in my shoes. No. Cause we don't know. But that's that's am I right? That's how music used to be. I used to that would make it better. It was. Well, I can't be in your shoes because you've got bigger feet than I do. Oh, that's true. But with saying that, um, no, because I've seen a lot of heat being given to Cardi B today. Okay. Um, because, I, you see, I don't know the record at all, but this new song that she got out, um, I forgot what it's called now, Get What or It What, something like that. And she's playing off somebody else's song, music or whatever. So They sued her? No, they're not suing her. It, they're giving her a lot of slack for it, but then again, her, you know, the people who are her fans love it, you know? Yeah, but that's, you gotta understand something about music. What happens with music is you, if you're not, like, if you're just an industry-built artist, mm -hmm. they're just gonna throw you things and say, jump on this. Yeah. But if you're, like, an artist that is basically, like, the per like, Charles' example. Charles is never an industry-built artist. He was just an artist that had all of his artistry was allowed to use it. That's what you're hearing with her. Right. Okay. Because she, I know a lot of things about certain artists is not going to say no names in the background with the records were already written and all they did was jump on there and they spit and they stole the records. Right. You know what I mean? So I've been, I, I've seen that plenty of times. And it was all a big deal about a coach bag. I have no idea what that's yeah, all about. Whatever, man. But you know, people out there in the music industry need to grow up. Okay. Enough with like attacking each other. Enough with the innuendos. It's, just, it's all fake, man. Just let's have some fun with some music. I believe, I believe it's all used for just leverage. You know what I mean? Like, it's used for, they got to build up the fuss to create the buzz, and now everybody goes streaming. And, it's all talking, and, like, that's all it is. That's mm, it. No, I see what he's saying, though. Media. I see what he's saying. They want, like, some type of controversy that kind of keeps the focus on them. So, you know, it, it, it and it it is because now she, that song is blowing up already. Eh, yeah, you know? I don't pay attention to any of that because years ago you had to have talent. So, with that said, go ahead. Well, with that said, I think this guy got plenty of talent. Exactly. Okay, yeah, I think he did. So, because <laughs> he's smooth. And if anything, when we come back from commercial break, we're gonna play his song. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back. Salute. Feel your aura, feel the force, Mandalore, she's the comic. 
And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. You already know this is your boy, DJ Energetic with Black Shine. Bring him back on, baby. Okay, so without further ado, oh, I hope we're ready over there. Um, we're going to play his song, Dear Loud. Dear Loud. <laughs> you put the little swag on it for me. Dear Loud. Oh, you man, you already know it's the boy DJ in the credit right now. We got that. Dear Loud. 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 Dear Loud.
the, he has that type of connection with his voice. Is all I'm saying. No, but I, but I like that. and I think that I, I believe that is like a great compliment. I don't. You just didn't know how to get spit it out, but I I feel what you're saying. That you was a great saying, compliment. Right? You're very very talented, and it sounds different, and I like it because it's passionate. Yeah, it's basically there passionate. Go. Okay, that's that's not one of my words. I would no, nah, it's passionate. You can hear, dear Lord. I, yeah, but, yeah. Just, again, yeah, you're right. With a little bit of if I, did DMX kind of like influence you? Influence you? I love DMX. Like his one, his first or second CD, the first major CD. I think Blood, Flesh in My Flesh, I believe, was like one of the hardest CDs. The uh -huh. one he was crying and praying on all the time, like <laughs> him and Damon, Damien. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's that's hey, that's all in my DNA. I got the word. I got the word. He's hypnotizing. Oh, there you go. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Thank I was well. I well. You knew two. Were, you know, while you two were talking, I was trying to think of a word. Well, my thing is right. When I'm hearing his sound and I'm hearing his thing, I like it because it sounds like a classic Atlantic mm, Atlanta record. Atlanta record. Yes. Okay. You can hear from the beat, the drums, the snares, and then the way that it drops, and then all of a sudden the way that your flow jumps on it. So you could definitely, like, I like mm, it. Okay, I like it. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's a major compliment for me. Like I love Atlanta and I love Atlanta history. So like, just for you to say that, that give me goosebumps. Oh, see, he's hypnotized <laughs> by you now. Nah, but it's dope because when I when you look at it, right, Atlanta, Atlanta has its own identity. Mm. No matter what, like New York City, I, they're gonna get mad at me for saying this. They've been copying ever since 2005. Not gonna lie. You think so? Yeah, they don't have that. They don't. They don't. Last person I really heard that had that New York vibe that was pushing, and he passed away. That was Stack. Okay. Everybody else started just jumping on the train and jumping on the bandwagon. And after they started jumping on the bandwagon, oh, okay. New York has lost its sound because, but Atlanta has always kept its sound. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So Atlanta always kept the sound down south. Always kept the sound. They never really tried to be. You know what I mean? Okay. They I got they, you. they always had the authentic sound. They're very authentic. And when, 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 uh, when Dre, this is Ava right there, well, 3,000, when he said Atlanta got something to say, like, that's, it, it, that's when we took off, and it seemed like we've been riding ever since. You know what I'm saying? Well, you I, I, I don't want to say we better than anybody. I just let the people choose. But in Atlanta, I feel like, hey, we're a major market right now. We, we're moving the needle. Yeah, that's true. No, okay. Atlanta is sick, man. Like when I first heard Atlanta, Atlanta, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I'm north. So when I heard Atlanta, I wasn't really jacking it. <laughs> yeah, I, I respect that though. I do respect it because it was like that back in the day. It I'm was. Gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I just didn't understand it. You understand? Like if I understood it, it would have been different. But we went from the boom baps to doing that weird 808 click. I hate yeah, it. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Used to annoy me, and then it'd be like ABC rhymes. Na, 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 then it went up to the floor. Na, 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 na. I couldn't stand it, man. I couldn't. But but then it grew on me because what happened was you really started listening to it, and then you really started going to the artist, and then you really say, like, "Dang, man! Like we really should have let them in back in the '90s because they would have been. A, they would have been. A, a, it, it elevated hip hop. Okay." You know what I mean? I, so, I, think, I think Atlanta grew. I think Atlanta grew in levels. Like when Outkast first came out, they was on the deep stuff. Like New York, we always thought New York from the south. We always th thought New York was always on the deep, you know, theological deep thought rap. So when Outkast came out, they was kind of on that level. But then Atlanta, we always had the strip clubs too. So. You have people like Lil Jon and the Yin Yang Twins, and they jumping on the on, on that angle. So, and then you got Usher came in and just mixed it all up. Uh, okay. You know what's funny? Yeah. Though? That that's a great thing because I forgot though Outkast and then Luna Chris and then this person and then well Lil Jon and them came and then and then what's his name? But I always like Lil Jon and them. I never really saw. I I saw the more kind of like. When you would basically be in like in a football game, they would hype you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of music. Part yeah. of music. I'm talking about like when like Ti came out, from when after when Ti Jock came out, then then Jeezy came out, and then yeah. you know what I mean like they were confused. But you know what really confused me a lot, and I'm not gonna lie to you, was the Miami movement. 
with Ross and then Plies and then this. So the down south, like it was it was like Atlanta, but Atlanta already had his identity with Outcast, with Andre 3000, with all of these cats. So it was it was it was different from you know what I mean and hear it. But it was dope too because I'm always gonna I'm gonna bring this I'm gonna bring this real quick. Mm-hmm. I used to listen to Lecrae and I didn't even know Lecrae was from down south. But he yeah. was the father went over here and the father praised me and then all of this and that. I was like, yo, I was like, who is this kid? And he thought he was from New York because he would always rock the fittings like this. And you thought he was from New York. Did my homework and found out he was from down south. <laughs> it's, a lot, it's a lot of that. Like his pockets up because you can even look at Atlanta music and you can look at it like this. Look from Little John to Andre 3000 and CeeLo and just wow. the... It's just, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. You know, we got our deep pockets and we got our party pockets, and it's just a blend, all blended together. I'm not gonna lie to you, yeah. man. When the Yin Yang Twins came out, man, the Yin Yang blew me away. Freaking, what's his name, blew me away too. Little John. Mm-hmm. And the thing yeah. is, I didn't even know he really like rhymed like that. Like, I was thought Little John watching it for Dave Chappelle was just a, like a prop. Like yeah. A, you know, when I listened to Little John, I'm like, damn, man, he's nasty. <laughs> And he's man, man. nasty too. I, I, I wouldn't call him a rhymer, but he 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 know how to get the party started. He gonna go anywhere on earth and uh, get the party started. You know, you know what I'm gonna say right now? He's the down south flavor flavor. <laughs> hey, you could say that. as far as the hey, I can see why you say that. I just the yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just you know what I'm he had you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I understand why you say that. He had the pimp cup. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, she just went viral again. Listen, that's your viral moment right there. Pimp cup, really? Okay, we went from crunk to pimp cup. Yeah, he had a pimp cup. The cup was like this. Yeah, the the golden, I forgot what you call it back in the day, like the golden king cup. (laughs) I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It said crunk. Crunk. Yeah, okay, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> being with, with that said, okay, um, if you're, uh, what is your favorite song though, besides your own, to listen to? Like, okay, you go in in the car, your windows are down, the convertible top is got is down. What are you listening to going like sixty miles an hour on the highway? Right now, mm-hmm. I'm probably right now probably on like some money bag, yo. Uh, finesse two, finesse two times. Uh, you know stuff like that. Right now, I still be on the older stuff too. You know, um, rich homie corn. Uh, I don't know any of these people. Yo, rich homie corn was nasty. I don't even know that. Oh, 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 oh. He, I'm gonna say something real quick. He was one of the first people that started Afro pop. Yeah, he he was from my neighborhood. His dad used to cut my hair back in the day. What? Yeah, his dad. He was first coming up. I didn't know nothing about him then, and I just watched him kind of go up, come up. It was cool. It's you weird, know? right? Like, I tell everybody this too, man. See, the reason why I feel like you're passionate too with music is that you've seen people blow up. Yeah. That's yeah. like from your neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's cool, and I salute them all. Platform all clap for them. Who's one of the most famous people you ever seen literally blow up from your neighborhood? T.I. T.I. Center Hill back here to Hollywood Road is literally a two mile circle. Like T.I. Young Joe. Young Joe really wasn't from the neighborhood, but he was over here all the time. Like, like literally T.I. From just the kid at the barbershop to the kid standing on the roof doing videos, you don't know me. Like there you go. That's the record that caught me right there. But those records, know, man, because yeah. the funny thing is when he did that thing, the king of the south, mm-hmm. man. I was listening to that, and that was the first time I was like, whoa. And then I had to give him respect mm-hmm. too, because his, his cousin was left eye. Oh, oh, from Chelsea. Heck yeah. See, I knew somebody. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> no, I knew somebody. <laughs> you have to respect the OGs, man. Even like you know what I'm saying, no matter what. You have to. It wouldn't be no else without them. I gotta give a big shout out to them. What did you say, hon? I gotta give a big, big shout out. No, I'm talking to him. Go ahead. Go Go ahead. ahead. I said it wouldn't be no else without them. Gotta respect them. Gotta respect them. 
Uh, that's, that's true. Crazy. He's very good. T.I.'s from your backyard. And Young Tro was dope, too. Whatever happened to him? He's still around. He more doing he doing stuff around Atlanta, more politicking and helping the kids. I mean, not, he made a couple of tracks. I, I liked them, but they, they didn't really go too far. But he doing his thing in Reporter City. You know what I'm saying? He doing his thing in the background. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Salute the drove. Yeah. What are you up to now? What do you got going on? Man, it's just all music, all shows, all music. I mean, you know, I'm still, no lie, I still have a job. We all <laughs> go to work here. We all huh? Yeah, you know, I got a job, but uh, I'm pushing this music. I'm doing my job in the daytime, pushing this music at nighttime. Everything, shows, I got shows. I got a couple of shows all over the United States this year, so we where just do it. Where are this year? Where are you going to be I'm going to be uh, in Tampa April 6th. And then July, July, I don't know exactly when the dates, but I'm going to be in D.C. I got one in Atlanta, nice. Detroit, uh, Dallas, and Las Vegas. Oh, wow. He's got, he's got it. Yeah. yeah. We're in Las Vegas. Hey, we're trying to get it, man. I'm trying to get it, man. Shout out to Las Vegas. Las Vegas, there, baby. No, my I, haven't been there since, I haven't been there since COVID, so oh. I, I need to experience it after COVID. Big big shout out to Nick and big big shout out to Rob because they got the what uh over there in Las East Vegas. East to West. East to West distribution. That's my mm -hmm. family right there. Yeah. So definitely when you're in Las Vegas, I'm gonna hook you up with them. Yeah. Hey, definitely. definitely. Thank you, man. They, they got that whole Las Vegas thing over there, and they're like right next to the strip. Yeah. So big big shout out to them. So with that All said, right. <laughs> but with that said, I want him actually to stick around because we got the music review coming up. Mm -hmm. And okay. Black, if you, if you can please stay around with us just for a few more minutes, okay? I got you. I got you. I got so you. After I'm on break, break. Good. After the commercial break, we'll be right back. I was all out of love with nobody to trust I was all out of love tonight, love tonight I found that body that I won't let go I'm gonna keep her close and this I know Cause I'm nobody at this party loves to do Someone at this party, someone at this party love having a good time tonight or what? That's what I thought. You already know, man, it's your boy, DJ Energetic, and we are back right now in that DNA live on Strong Island TV. But listen. Okay. Are you ready we, for we, this? Can we get back Black and, and Shine, black, please? That's what I'm about to do. I'm just saying. Can we get him back? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Legendary. <laughs> A-Town. ATL, yeah. Okay. Let's go. Are you going to play the first one? All right, so listen, man. So right now, everybody that's watching, we do something called the music review. Mm -hmm. The music review is when we review artists and have people that are basically guests come in and give their opinion about the artist. Right. So first off, I want to start it off right now. Jocka. 
No. No. I want to start it off right now with my man Top Dawn. Okay, Lazarus. Yes, we go. Street legend. Let's get it, man. Bip bit shout out. You already know E and J. DJ Energetic already broke this record. I was the first person to break this record. Everybody picked it up from Power 104, uh Power 109 out here. And and Hot 97. So you go. let's go. Let's you go. already know. Let's get it. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, you ready? No, let's go. I told them I'm really a street legend. Yeah. When it come to beef, I'm carrying three weapons. Every other verse even got keep sweating. Yep. The real bad man remind you of Heath Ledger. I told them I'm really a street legend. Yeah. When it come to beef, I'm carrying three weapons. Yeah. Every other verse even got keep sweating. Huh. The real bad man remind you of Heath Ledger. Yeah. They want to play it by the side. They're yeah. looking at a bro. They're ready to collide. Yeah. And with them streets, then you meet in your demise. You can tell you see the shadow master. Through your eyes, I can tell you divide. You reaping that grand prize until I beat you down. Now you seeing on the skies. You looking at a legend while I'm blasting the weapon. You up in the club. I'm laughing. Try asking me questions. It's looking bad till she passed a reflection. Well, guess what? I mean, so pass the suggestion. I told these and I'm really a street legend. When it come to beef, I'm carrying three weapons. Every other verse even got key sweating. I swear to God, remind you of Batman, Heath Ledger. I told them I'm really a street legend. Yeah. When it come to beef, I'm carrying three weapons. Ah. Every other verse even got keep sweating. Yep. The real bad man remind you of Heath Ledger. Ah. I told them I'm really a street legend. Yeah. When it come to beef, I'm carrying three weapons. Yeah. Every other verse even got keep sweating. Ah. The real bad man remind you of Heath Ledger. Ah. I'm playing games as the Puerto Rican rap man. I pull out shots like goddamn, I'm the fat man. You saying something wrong? I'm running like I'm Batman. Woo. Your whole physical was ran through a cat scan. The 20 base, that I mean, I pack grams. You saying something wrong, man? Until I stack fans. Out of bounds, you playing? You out of route? The product's narcotic. God, I'm moving out. Why they playing? Why they moving? I'm lifting that old bay. So pain, it's mixing like so train. The flow coke man remind you of Cobain. You play the wrong name, I'm really like Max Payne. I clap dames easily, show you where you need to be. Yeah, I'm from the South Bronx, beat you easily. Playing now, I show you how we rolling right now. Until I put your block and turn it to a ghost sound. I told them I'm really a street legend. When it come to beef, I'm carrying three weapons. Every other verse even got keep sweating. The real bad man remind you of Heath Ledger. I told them I'm really a street legend. When it come to beef, I'm carrying three weapons. Yeah. Every other verse, he even, even got, got Keith sweating. The real bad man remind you of Heath Ledger. Yo, big, big shout out to my mans. Big shout out to Lazarus, the Top Dawn, on Top Dawn Radio. You already know, Power 104.9, Long Island. We're killing it right now, 93.5, the beat in L.A. Come on, Laz, you got this, boy. Okay, so shout I thought it was good. <laughs> <laughs> After all that, I thought it was good. Okay. Street legend. Yep. I liked it. What do you think, hon? I think it's I think it's all right. I think it's all right. I think he's spitting. Mm. I think he's spitting. I think I think it'll ride in the club. Yeah. It's a good you know what I'm saying? You sitting in the club and you know what I'm saying? It's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Driving. Okay. And now and up next we got uh Jaka. Yeah, we're about to play Jaka. Let's and you got it? One second. Okay, I'll give you one second. Um, the song is called One Too Many. Yeah. Uh by Jaka. Everybody can find him on IG under Jaka Official Music, is it? Right? Yeah. J A K K A H. Um shout out to shout, shout shout out to Showcase Poppy. So come on, baby, let's go. Go ahead, honey. You already know, man, it's your boy, DJ Energetic. And everybody right now, we are breaking these records right now in front of everyone, live audience. Let's go. Come on, Jock, let's go. You know. DNA. Let's get it. Radio, radio, radio. You was gone one too many days. I didn't forget about the way. Everything that I love about you before, too many things, too many things, yeah, enough time for me to forget, all the time we spent, baby, girl, that you forgot to. You do, yeah. Who you think is stunning? I think I do 
something that you think you're walking on. And why's it always my name that you talking on? And like I got to know that you was reaching out a long day. Oh, now I'm big stepping. When everybody telling me I'm big headed. It's how the destination that I've been headed. You could tell the way that I've been trace setting war. Nah, we can talk it out. Especially cause I know how you been rocking out. You gon' talk to me and you gon' run your mouth. There's somebody else who probably gon' spread it around now. Nah. You don't want too many. Want too many days without me. Want too many days. Want too many days without me. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, I think uh, Double It might have competition with this record. I don't know, Jaka. I don't know. You got me on the fence now here. Oh. I'm I'm teetering now. Ooh. You know, Double It, One Too Many. I don't know. But uh, Double It is always going to still be my go-to. But uh, One Too Many is very good. I I, I liked it. One I liked it a lot. What did you think? I, 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 I like the beat. I like it's groovy. It, it remind me of some Chris Brownish. <laughs> mm, okay. right, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I liked it. I, it the, the thing in the background, it was kind of, it was kind of throwing me a little bit. But when I when I was trying to tone in, hone in on the music, I like, I like the song. Yeah, you know, I like you know. have a panel like this all the time. Yeah, no, exactly. We're gonna have the artist come in here and the artist talk because the artist is the best way to actually know. The music, you know. Well, he can be. Well, I I can be like Paula Abdul, and 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 he can be um Randy Jackson, and you can be sure. Cal. My my biggest thing, my biggest thing, I would want to tell the artist is just make sure your sound is right and your sound is perfect because right. you can have a hot song, but some sound in the background could throw it off and they won't even pay no attention. Like I got you. Get that sound. Hey, listen, advice is always good advice, you know? And you know what the good thing about that is, is that an artist showing another artist love, another artist showing, you know, critique and stuff like that or whatever, because we're all here to help each other, you know? It's all love with me. Yeah, it's, it's all, all love. love. Right, I love the it. song. I love the song. Like, so. It's and he's good. only it's like 24, I think. No, he's 20? only 20 years old. He's only 20 years old. Yeah. Yeah, he's a young young stud, but he's good. I we like got Jaka. one more. Oh, we got one more. Well, we we only have like a minute and a half left. Exactly. So that's gonna be for next. Week. <laughs> that's gonna that's gotta be for next week. Dude. <laughs> I'm like, we're, only, we're running low, baby. Okay. Yeah. So again, I'm gonna ask you one more question, real quick. Okay. I got fun questions here. Okay, let's go. Okay, so, um, if you were an animal, what would it be? A lion. A lion. Okay. What would you be? Okay. Let's not go there. <laughs> I, I, would, I, I think I would be a kangaroo. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. That's yeah, cool, I would be a kangaroo. kangaroo is cool. Like, it's cool. I would be a kangaroo. What would you be? Seriously, you don't know what you would be? No. Hmm? Crocodile. A crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody messes with a crocodile. Yeah. I'm underneath the water watching all your fools. Okay, I whatever. I on land when I want to. <laughs> anyway, forget <laughs> I even said that. All right. So, again, thank you again so much for, you know, sticking around with us for the music review. Really appreciate that. Just oh, remember, everybody. Just remember, everybody, you can find him on IG under B-L-A-K underscore shine underscore Dukes. D-U-K-S. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right, right? Yes, you got it right. His Perfect. fire record. And his fire record. Dear Lord. 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 Love you again. Thank, thank you so much again for coming. Thank, thank you, everybody, for watching us. And thank y'all for being on the DNA show. Big, big shout out to everybody that's watching it right now. God bless everybody. We'll be back next week. Same place, same time. DNA Live. Peace and we're out. We're out of here. Peace out, everybody. Peace out. Thank y'all. <laughs>